Hi there, welcome to another episode of PilotClimb.com. In today's video, we are going to analyze the fuel figures on the lead of flight plane, okay? As you can see, this is a lead of flight plane, okay, that I made using the simbrief.com website, which is a great website, I strongly recommend to check that. And we're gonna see and analyze every single item here. For example, fuel, as you can see, trip, contingency, alternate, final reserve, minimum take of fuel, extra take of fuel, tax, all right? And then block fuel. So. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. V1, rotate. If you're not to the channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Okay, my name is Gabriel and I help you to become a better pilot. If you want to support my job, give it a like to the video. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll be able to answer. So let's talk about the fuel figures, all right? So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna see this as, as we said, is the first page of a little flight plan that you can make in simbrief.com, right? So it, what we're gonna do, we have this plan fuel, these are the fuel figures that you need to fly for your flight. In this case, the flight is from Bologna, Bologna, okay, Bravo Lima, Quebec, to Ibiza, India, Bravo Zulu. Okay, so let's start from the top and we go all the way down to the bottom and we analyze these fuel figures, okay? So. Let's, let's go, so plan fuel, if you look in here, we go fuel, airport, fuel, and time, okay? This is the same for all of them, okay? So the fuel means what fuel it is, okay? So in this case, the first figure is the trip fuel. The trip fuel, guys, is the fuel that you need to fly from your departure aerodrome all the way down to your destination. In our case, it's going to be from Bologna to Ibiza. The trip fuel, the amount of fuel that we need to do our flight is going to be 5,210 kilos, okay? But this is only the flight, okay? So from takeoff to landing. And the time is one hour and 51 minutes of flight time, okay? Then we have the contingency fuel, in this case it's 15 minutes, and I made a separate video where I talked about in deep what is this contingency fuel. In this case, our contingency fuel is 702 kilos, okay? And a time of 15 minutes, okay? Guys, the contingency fuel, again, watch the video I made, but very quickly, the contingency fuel is a fuel that you have got in there by the law that will help you out in case you face a situation that was not, uh, was unforeseen, okay? So let's say you plan your flight very nice, uh, greatly, okay? Everything is planned perfect, perfect, but that is only plan. Real life, then things become very dynamic and sometimes they change, for example, if you have a clear day, okay, especially in summer could happen, okay, you plan everything and then you take off and then your route well, at the planning stage looked uh, very clear, no weather around. However, once you reach your cruise altitude, you find out that in front of you you've got CBs. So you need to avoid the weather and when you avoid the weather, you're going to make a longer route, thus you will burn more fuel, okay, the contingency fuel is always there to face this type of operation, this, sorry, this type of situations that uh, we're not we're not seen on the planning stage, okay? They we're not there when you were planning. So situations that uh, they rise up uh, after, okay? Because the real life, once you can plan very nicely, but real life can change very quickly, okay? Then you have Alpha Lima Tango November means alternate. The alternate fuel, guys, in this case, going to be Barcelona for our flight, okay? It's uh, it's basically alternate Barcelona. We need to. 1,948 kilos to fly to Barcelona and that time from that moment you uh, to the go around at uh, your uh, uh, destination Ibiza to land in Barcelona is going to be 45 minutes okay this fuel is actually taking into account everything okay from the moment you push Toga and you do the go around all the way down to the landing in Barcelona okay and the flight time is going to be 45 minutes the final reserve, guys, in this case, 1,099 kilograms and 30, okay, final reserve is this one, okay, fin res, you need to divide these six letters into three and three, so Fox to India November means final Romeo Eco Sierra reserve, okay, the final reserve, okay, is a fuel that allows you to fly at an altitude of 1,500 feet above, so an height of 1,500 feet above your uh, alternate aerodrome for 30 minutes. Okay, so time 30 minutes, this is a fuel that you've got there always, okay? And this is 1,099, okay, 1,100 basically, okay? So the minimum take of fuel that you need by law is telling you is 8,959, okay? And the endurance that you've got in there is 3 hours and 22 minutes, all right? So if you add all of these figures together, 5, 3, 7, 2,000 and 1,100, it's going to give you this number in there. 
okay? Then, if there is any reason you need extra fuel, for example, you have a problem on the aircraft, so there is a MEEL, and I made a separate video about MEEL, okay, because sometimes the aircraft, for example, has got, I don't know, a light that is not retracted, it stays, it stays extended, okay? That light throughout the flight is gonna make you burn more fuel because it will produce drag. In that case, you will need more fuel, you will find, for example, the fuel in here, okay? Normally, if the aircraft is fully serviceable, you should have zero there, okay? But sometimes, depending on your on your problem depending on the length of the flight and depending on many other factors such as the altitude and so on you gonna have extra fuel okay that you need in order to make sure you actually always have the minimum amount of fuel from to fly from a to b okay so then if you add all of these figures together okay so the, basically the minimum take of fuel plus the extra you're gonna have a take of fuel in this case it's going to be 9459 kilos Okay, and you're gonna have an endurance of 3 hours and 32 minutes. Then, if you look below that, you got the taxi fuel in Bologna, which is basically where we took off. So that this taxi fuel is the taxi that you need from your parking stand all the way down to your takeoff. Okay, so it's the taxi for your takeoff. In this case, it was 227 kilograms and 20 minutes of taxi time. Okay, so if you... Uh, if you basically sum all of these figures, so the minimum take of fuel, which is the sum of this one, plus the extra, you're gonna get this number in there, the take of fuel. If you add to the take of fuel, you add the taxi fuel, you're gonna get the block fuel that you need for takeoff. Okay? This is the minimum fuel that you need by law. Okay, and as you can see, if everything is fine, you're gonna burn out of 9,700 kilograms, you're only gonna burn if everything is fine, the trip fuel plus the taxi so you're gonna burn pretty much around 5500 kilograms however since uh, the law is different because even though it's called minimum fuel you still have a lot of fuel okay so instead of if everything's fine you're gonna burn 5500 kilograms but you have on board 9700 so as you can see on the line word guys even though the fuel is say uh, when you hear on the news and ah, the pilot took off with minimum fuel yeah but minimum fuel means that you got all this fuel on board already okay normally when the situation is fine there is no weather you don't expect any delay you the aircraft is fully serviceable everything is fine you don't simply just load the block fuel okay you ran you 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 you, you you, you load a little bit more than the block fuel for example if 9686 is the minimum block fuel you load 9700 9800 right however if there is anything that you think that may compromise not the safety but it may uh, uh, make you delay the flight or if there is bad weather or if there is any other reason you think is is gonna make you this the day a bit longer you simply you can even uh, add another extra so the pilot in command can add extra fuel to the minimum block fuel okay so let's say today we arrived we, ch we check the the flight plan and the minimum fuel was 9700 you know what we've got bad weather en route so let's load another 600 kilograms in order the, uh, for the avoidance of the weather okay if we need to do weather avoidance we go extra fuel okay so in this case if the pilot in command thinks is uh, is appropriate to load extra fuel you can add in here okay and then once you add in here let's say you add uh, 100 kilograms of extra fuel for example in order to get your final fuel figure you need to add the block fuel plus the big extra okay we said 100 kilograms in that case would have been for us 9786 kilograms which you can just call it uh, 9800 okay guys again as you can see, all right, what, I, what I really want to stress, even though we load sometimes the minimum fuel, does it, it doesn't mean that we only have the fuel to fly from A to B and that's it. Okay, we, you have a lot of fuel. You have the fuel for to go to the alternate. You have the fuel to fly at your altitude 30 minutes at 1500 feet. You have an extra 15 minutes in this case to, of the contingency. You know, there, are, there is a lot of fuel there, okay? And this is the trip, but sometimes the ATC will always uh, try to give you direct routing in order to save fuel okay so guys i hope you understand a little bit better now the fuel figures on a little flight plane okay if you have any questions leave a comment below and then i will help you out also go to pilotclimb.com where you can subscribe for free pilot training i wish you a good day and i'll see you in the next one